here we go. Let's get it. Car looks sick, though. There's a definite view change in this. I can see it. Is that just me? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. March the 4th is officially Gran Turismo 7's release date. Uh, I had to download this game for about three hours today, almost three and a half hours. Uh, I picked it up at 10 o'clock at GameStop, and here we are today, officially ready to go at 315 booted up our thrustmaster tgt2 is ready if you guys missed the unboxing the setup of the whole rig links will be found down below right i'm excited to dive into this game man everything gran turismo 7 make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe we're gonna be posting daily for quite some time here on gt7 so i'm really looking forward to the next few days dad joke of the day before we start here ryan lawrence he goes dad joke what did the walkie talkie say to the printer do you copy, right? Okay, man. Huge thanks for watching. Leave your dad jokes down below. And of course, don't forget to slap that like button. On right into this GT7, we got the deluxe edition, which means I got all the cash. I got a million dollars. I got, I think, like 30 cars or something. It was crazy. I just, the list kept going. So if there's anything that you'd like to see specifically on the channel, let me know in the comment section down below. We got to get to some drift builds. We got to get some cars rolling. I am so far behind on this game. Uh, right, but it's grind time, man. Here we go. Music, wait, no. Music rally? No! I want to play the game, man. Did I click the wrong game? Yeah, back to game. What you, no, no, the game's downloaded. No, no, I, I think we have a misunderstanding. The game is done. The game's been downloaded already. Hello, can I speak to a manager at PlayStation? Right? Do we have to do the music rally? What is going on? Looks like we have to do the music rally. Okay, let's just do one. Welcome to GT7. We will now set up your basic controls. Okay, I guess we had to do it. I will say though, I love the sound of these letters coming out, right? I love it. Uh, no, I'm actually on a steering wheel today. Left stick. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go stick. Select your accelerator, brake, yeah. Who would not use the adaptive controls right now, right? Choose the kind of driver assist you'd like. Uh, we're on expert, we're on expert. Assistant, right? Adjusted settings, pause menu. Our first drive here on GT7. Um, can I turn off the music? I know that sounds funny, but right? I mean, as someone who's trying, oh, we have, yeah, we can do our same settings from before. That's near. Ooh, that looks sick. Cockpit view, we'll bring it up a little bit. Depth in there a little bit. Wobbling, what? Uh, settings. You can now play GT7. Well, thank you. How do I? Oh, begin. There it is. Okay. I'm sitting here like, what is it? I was literally about to question everything what's going on. Okay. Begin. Yes, please. Here, let's go. Okay. World map, music route. No, I don't want world map. World map. Here we go. Enter a nickname. Next. We got chili peppers. Um, AI controlled rival cars in the open circle will drive at their standard speed. Race will be faster, allowing you to compete at higher level. Prize money is not affected. Online races... So prize money's not affected. We're just gonna go normal then. We'll see how it goes. If we need to pump it up, then I will. But we have the opening intro to the game here, finally. I've yet to see it, so I'm really excited to just watch this and enjoy it. Gran Turismo 25th anniversary. Are we gonna get to see some GT7 gameplay on here or is this just all just actual footage? Oh, here we go. Unloading it off the truck, no way. Oh, that's insane. GT7, let's go, man. Brand new year, brand new game. Oh, the hype is real right now. I got a lot of expectations. I haven't seen much on this game also. I haven't really looked into it other than, you know, the parts, the tuning, but the car list, the track list, I don't know very much. So I'm excited to see what's here, what's not. Oh, man, I can't wait, man. Holy. What a sick intro. Ooh, look at the Viper back there fighting that GTR. Um, wow, that was gorgeous. This game just looks so damn good, man. 
There's our rain clip. I've seen some rain gameplay and it is treacherous out there. Super dangerous. What a classic. Man. Get the little toe hook on the front too and everything. Jeez. GT does these intros very well. I just think, you know, I, I really wish they implemented it more throughout the campaign mode, right? That's one thing GT needs is a little bit more work in the story mode. But again, I mean, it's not a story mode game, right? You got to understand that. But it would be cool if they just added a few things to it. Damn, there's that boss, 402. Oof. Yeah, I like those new Z's, I think. Back home, man. Day one. Right, holy... Where it all started, Gran Turismo 1. First time. Really fell in love with a true racing game, it felt like. We're about to do it all over again here. We got the proper rig, we got the proper setup. This is our time. There's the BRZ ripping, turn 14. Hopefully we get more of them in. A couple D1 GP cars, that would be super cool. Yeah, this game's gonna need a lot of time. And I'm excited. There's our Tundra. Let's go. It's got the rally kit on there too now. That's cool. One thing, there's still no damages on the game, right? I mean, Gran Turismo doesn't need damages, I think, at the end of the day. But that's probably going to be the next big step up, I think, for, you know, GT8, whenever that comes down. I think will be damaged. They'll finally, I think they'll finally go into that. Look at this. Super clean. I waited a long time today to get this all up and running, downloaded and working to here we are today. Gran Turismo 7, the real driving simulator. That got me a little bit goosebumps going on right there. That's sick. Okay. First impressions. I like it. Oh, piano, logic, cargo. Ah, man, I wish. I want the music. Can I have the music? Right, it's not gonna damn ban me, will it? Introducing, oh, Sarah. Hi, you must be slapped. Are you ready for your new adventure? Yes, girl, nice to meet you. My name is Sarah, your guide in the world of Gran Turismo. Let me start by asking you, have you ever traveled the world of Gran Turismo before? No. The world of Gran Turismo is a world of all about cars. The world is vast, rich, and in depth. Slap, let's get out there and explore the new world. This girl's nice. First of all, you'll need a car. There's a used car dealer that offers a cars at reasonable prices. So let's check that out. Used car dealer. I like what they did here with this map. Has that old school vibe to it. I'm liking this a lot here. Hi, you must be your first trip out. Yes, sir, Andy. Part of this dealership. Nice to meet you. Right now, this is the lineup of cars we have in stock. And you can give Slab some advice on picking a first car. Okay, no problem. I don't need advice, Andy. When choosing your car, pay attention. Okay, it, it, right. PP stands for performance points and indicates how fast the car is. Okay, right. It's... It's expressed by a numeric value that gives you an overall indicator of your car's performance. This includes engine power and aerodynamic. Okay, yeah. Higher the PP, the higher rate, the faster the car. Um, since you're just starting out on your adventure, it'll be good to start out with a Japanese compact car. One of the cars in stock now, that would be one of these three. The Honda Fit, Toyota Aqua, and the Mazda Demo. Demayo? Any of these would serve you well. You can make your choice based off PP or design. You're free to choose the one you like. Okay. Um, I want the Lancer though, right? <laughs> Look at our money. We got 1.2 billion dollars started off huge. We do have this Integra for 62 grand though. That's a beautiful car. 350Zs for 29,000. GTR is 393,000 dollars. Holy shit! Super B. That's a classic GT car to the Super B. We may go with the rotary here. RX-7, FC, we got rear wheel drive on here. 
and it's also a little bit cheaper. Look at the the E30 is 178k. That's insane. PP of 437. This is a 518 for way cheaper. These cars are a dime a dozen. Let's grab them here. And our first purchase on Gran Turismo 7. Let's go. I don't want it in gray though. How come I couldn't change the color? Stored in garage. Okay. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with this price or value. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. Collector level reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy lots of cars and raise your collector level. We better get something for, you know, raising it up, I feel like. See, you've picked out your first car. Congratulations. So slap, this will be your first car. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your new car. Hey, we are now free to explore, seems like almost, no? Oh, no, no. Not yet, garage is now open. You can switch cars, change setting, or just admire your ride. You can also turn in tickets. You win in races here and receive bonus items as well. That's cool. Once you've checked everything out, let's head out to the cafe next. Okay, so let's go quickly into gifts. What do we got here? No gifts? When you receive a roulette ticket, you can trade them in here, exchange. Okay, so this is where we do our, okay. No gifts, I got it. Uh, scrap movies or scrapes, change car. Wait, I thought I had so many more other cars. I had way more cars waiting, no? Where'd they all go? Huh. Okay. Tuning parts, car collection. What's in here? Car collection. Okay, so very similar to Forza, seems like, where we can then, right, keep them all and look at them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, game looks nice, man. I would like to change the color of my car. Oh, I should've went the parts, right? No? Cafe. I could go for a coffee. Let's go for it. Cafe shrouded in the woods. This is a special place where people who love cars, including car. Okay, I clicked the button by accident. There is also a special menu for people like you who like to explore. Come on, Slap, let's go inside. Game just has good vibes, man. Luca, so you're Slap. Luca, oh, so you're Slap. You're just starting out a new adventure, right? My name's Luca, the owner of this cafe. We don't only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books for exploring the world. The mini books contain hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Once you complete, says once you complete one menu book, I'll have another ready for you. Let's start by choosing your first menu. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, menu book. Menu book number one collection: Japanese compact cars. Okay. Toyota Aquarius Fit. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to get one of these, wasn't I? Yeah. I guess I should have done that. Recommended car. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any of these. How to acquire. I, I guess I should have bought one. You might have one or two of them already, but your work not done until you collected all three. Okay. Japanese compact cars, book one. Time to go hunting. We got our car in the back, just leaving. Like, look at that, it's so clean. Oh, I love this game. You just put me to sleep, man. It's so nice, right? It's a weird feeling. You can go from being fully relaxed in the menus to, you know, your heart racing on the final lap of a GT Sport race. It is wild. World Circuits is now available. Let's have a quick look at our track list, at our car list as well to showcase World Circuits. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got quite a few. Americas, let's see what we got here first. Northern Isle Speedway. It's an oval track. Interesting. We only got one here ready to go. Autodrome. Got the Autodrome logo, and uh, we only have three tracks open right now? BB Japan Broad Bean Raceway. I've never heard of that one. Okay, so let's start off here. Are these three cars that we need in here, I wonder? Right, oh yeah, here's this one. Let's see how fast we can purchase these, I wonder. Yeah, Aquarius, bang. Oh, it shows the other two. Honda Fit 2014 we do need. Okay, so let's grab that. Leveled up, yep. Yeah. We'll grab our Fit. Bang. Acquired. I think I'm playing Grand Theft Auto all over again here. Acquiring these cars for our for our shop. <laughs> Don't want to get in. And then we need this one. We need all three. It's a weird first thing to do. Spending all my damn cash, man. You've acquired you've acquired a car specified in the menu books. Okay, so we're now up a collector level almost. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the cafe. We got our compass shining up here. Student of motoring history trophy urn, thank you. Collection Japanese compact cars completed. 
Congratulations, you succeeded in getting all three cars. This completed this collection, and boy, have I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Let's talk later. Let's have a good look at these cars and hear what Luca has to say about them. We're actually having dinner with this man. Listen carefully, I'll deepen your knowledge and just may lead to some new discoveries. We got a roulette ticket. First ticket, let's go. License center, now have it. They're okay, we get the now stress, let's go. I had a couple friends that were telling me these are sometimes pretty hard. Um, he spent an hour on one of them last night. So if you guys have any good license stories, let me know your hardest one so far in GT7. I'm curious. The pavilion has been made available. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, we're going over to Chris now. Chris, about this car here. Hmm, I see. Chris, I see you've been working hard today. This is Chris. He loves to evaluate, assess, and appraise. Good to see you both. Yes, it's true. When I see a nice car, I just can't help but check it out. Around here, call me the automobile inspector. Now let's see what we have here. Wanted to play around with the big naturally aspirated engine on a manual gearbox. Yeah, there ain't now you can do with the Z33, which is one of its main selling points. The late model from 2007 is equipped with a VQ35 high rev engine, which boasts a higher red line than the standard model. Pavilion right there. License center now open. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Garage. Let's see what we got here. Three things popping up for some reason. Got a ticket as well too. Finally, let's go ahead and hit our ticket. Reward for completing a menu. <laughs> wow. Thanks so much, Gran Turismo. Let's see what we got. Our first ticket reward. Whoa, we got a super? Oh, we got, oh, we can win parts, money, or a car? No way! That big stack right there, the big stack. Oh my, come on, give me the smallest stack available? How much? 2,000 credit, wow, thanks so much. That's cool. Showcase, discover replays and photos of drivers from around the world, that's cool. License center, wow. Okay. We may be doing our first license test here for today. This is the license center. This is where you can hone your driving techniques and become the more efficient on a racetrack. You can also gauge how much your skills have improved. So make sure you keep coming back. It's the ideal training ground for those who want to make it in this competitive world. Welcome to the license center. I'm Daniel, your coach for license B license. Coach for the national B license. We get to drive some cool cars. I'm also a Gran Turismo driver from the North American region. You'll be able to polish your driving skills here, starting with the basics such as going straight, turning, and stopping. Come on, let's try it out. This is going to be quite easy, but... Ooh. I do believe manual transmission is off at the moment. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You can look around in here, too. That's sick. And we're coming up to the stop. Brakes coming in, and... Should use handbrake. Is that gold? That's gold. My first gold. Let's go. First one's gold. I definitely felt the brakes. It, it wasn't as much. Obviously, the car is not you know as performance as some of the other ones. But okay, let's back out of that. We got three thousand dollars for doing it. Daily work it as well to increase. Thank you. We got a gold. First one. Okay. So license test A is done. Let's see what else I got here for us. Do we have to do the whole thing? Showcase maybe. Let's try this. I'm trying to get to the garage. I want to see all the cars in here. There is a lot already with some downloads. Heck yeah. Oh man, this game's gonna be so sick. I can't wait to dive into this. Obviously, I'm late to the party. Um, so, you know, bear with me on some cool content coming out, but I'm trying to uh, catch up here and get some stuff out here for you guys. So, some drift builds are gonna be coming out. I just wanted to kind of get this first episode out just to kind of, you know, hey, I'm playing Grand Turismo 7 2 right now, right? <laughs> All right, let's do another license test. Why not? We'll do the first few here. B2 starting and stopping. Yeah, yeah. Didn't feel anything crazy different, but you never know. Here we're third person. Oh, it looks so sick too. I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Gold? We got another gold. Oh, I'm on fire. Hit the handbrake too. You see the tires light up. Thankfully, I got off of it there. Two for two on these right now. Game looks so good on the replays. Look at the car just press down. <laughs> big smoke, big smoke. Okay, we're using the wheel for this one. We're turning. Let's start off with the basics. I got you, sir. Probably. Oh, we got... No, we got silver. It's a Daihatsu... Copen 2002. I've never heard of this before. 
Got our ghost out now, too. Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. Bang. That's a goal. New record. Right, we're going for B4. Got the TT Quattro Coupe. Means you can't take the corner at full throttle, so either ease off the accelerator or apply the brakes before turning. Okay. Let's get it. Take a corner in a fast car. Well, thank you. She feels quick. The G-forces are different too. It's cool. We did get gold on that. Let's go. Bar 35. Very basics three. I know scuba. You don't have to tell me how to drive it, sir. Okay, let's get it. Take consecutive corners. Will it let me cut? I don't know if it will. I think it, I think we're good. Did we get oh we got it! Okay, if we back out of this, what happens though? Have we unlocked a few things or what? Use cars. I think I need to get all of these cars done. Back to scuba then. Oh my! What? Oh, this thing is real quick! Definitely not gonna get gold drifting, so let's uh, try that one more time, shall we? Right? <laughs> Saw a little bit of traction here for it. Just a slight bit, new record, 10-7, 10-7, thank you. So if you guys did not see the hard shell for this, the Steelbook GT7 looking nice, man. I really do like this a lot. I posted a couple pictures on Twitter with it, but bang. It's okay, I wish they would have done maybe a little bit more for people, like, I don't know, maybe gave us a strategy guide, right? <laughs> Days of strategy guides with games, you'd... Buy the game in the strategy guide. On trail mounted here finally. B7. Right? Bingo! Corner basics five. So here we go. Okay, what I want to do is force feedback. We're going to bring that up. Maybe to eight, actually. Okay, here we go. Let's get it. Try it again. The camera wobble. I can see it now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's pretty cool, though. Yeah, not the way you want to go into a corner like that, but... Hey, she goes, though. <laughs> 16... Nah, it's gonna be good. That's a bronze, or silver, but... Why do I not have manual transmission? I don't understand this right now. Thank you. I'm like, what am I doing with my life right here? We're good. Yeah, way better. Come on now, give it to me, give it to me. Let's go, that's what happens, man. You put on the manual shifting, you can actually move the car where you want it to go. Let's go. We got three left, three left here. We're gonna complete this. Me and Bathurst go way back, right? Here we go, let's get it. Car looks sick though. There's a definite view change in this. I can see it. Is that just me? Maybe it's my new BenQ monitor? I don't know, but I like it though. What I don't like is that silver. All right, let's go. We got it, we got it, come on now. Oh yeah, boost, boost. I heard that thing kick. We're good now on that one. That's uh, easy money on that one. 13.5, that was a great corner on there too. I gotta hear this thing. You can hear it spool up as we caught it. Absolutely, fully enjoying my time here on Gran Turismo 7. It feels like a new game. It honestly does feel like a new game. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna say that today, but it does. Two left, almost done. Come on, Monica, hey. 
need six. No, come on. Go, go. Oh yeah, by a long shot. That's uh, still silver. Oh my. Okay, there we go. Right? Didn't even shift on that one there. Held that on 17.3. We gotta not shift. Use that VTech. Looks like you passed all the challenges from B1 to B9. Well done. Next up is B10, the final exam. Pass that, and the license is all yours. You're nearly there. Don't let up. Final exam. Test me. I've learned it all. All right, here it is. Final exam. Pass exam. You'll issue your national B license. Be gold to get all gold to get that special reward, hopefully. Right? I think GT still does that. Hopefully. But this head wobble, though, that they've started, I'm really enjoying this. Come on out. Oh my, why? Why do I not turn the wheel more? <laughs> turn the wheel more! I think I'm gonna move my rig a little bit, tilt it up a little bit for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love you, Scuba. Keep me. Thank you. 25.3. That's gold. Let's go. Real driving simulator. This is looking crispy, man. Really looking good. Damn, if my younger self could say, you know what? You're going to get GT7 one day, and it's going to look a thousand times better than these damn pixels. I would not believe myself. I wouldn't believe it. It's crazy to see how far we've come on these games, man. Let's see what my car is going to be. I'm really curious here. We got quite a bit done there. National B license acquired. Thank you. We got our car pinging in the background, too. Still, I love that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? A Clio? 220 trophy? <laughs> no. That's my reward car. Congratulations on receiving your National B license. A new gift car has been sent to your garage to celebrate. What about my special car, though, for getting all golds? Can I get that one? I should get a ticket too, no? Oh, here it is, here it is. This is the gold car. Oh, we got the damn GTO Twin Turbo. Let's go. PP is 456, all wheel drive. Earn gold in every challenge. Birthday year. Leveled up. Level three collector. Let's go. Lopez, congratulations on getting your national B license. My name is Cook Lopez and Charger National A license. I'm also Gran Turismo competitive driver for Spain, which is my home. Once you clear the test requirements for A1 to A10, you'll be approved for the National A license. Just a quick piece of advice before you start. Have you been using the auto braking feature? No. If so, I'd suggest trying to learn to drive without. Yeah, I haven't been using that. But who the who uses auto braking? Come on, Lopez. I'm really enjoying this. I'm excited to just put in some hours on this. Give you guys some good, solid gameplay, some reviews, um, you know, talk about my experiences. Let me know yours down below, and we're going to dive into this tomorrow. There's going to be a whole thing. Super excited to get this going for you guys. Huge thank you once again for watching, and we're going to be doing some GT7 Open Lobbies very, very soon. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the episode, hashtag FairLadyZ in the comments section. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow right for a fresh day of gt7 content man if you guys missed any of the previous episodes make sure you guys go ahead and check it out opened up the tgt2 with the little one and we had a great time doing it and i'll see you guys back here tomorrow put the links down below get yourself set up with a good rig thrustmaster's got you covered man i'll see you guys back here tomorrow i'm out peace <laughs>